Hi everybody, sorry I'm slightly late and got sidetracked and was busy with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, of course you know there's, tomorrow is the debate between Trump and um, Vice President Harris. Well, as usual, Trump does his antics, if you will, uh, childish antics. Because most normal candidates don't do that. They just dig in, prepare, get, you know, make sure they have all the facts and show why they would like they would do this job. Trump doesn't do that. All he knows is bullying. And he's never really grown up, per se. He's never really matured at all. Uh... He acts like a spoiled brat, and I'm so sick and tired of his antics, okay? Sick and tired of the childish, uh, you know, whatever he says and whatever. Vice President Harris is a little different, she, er, is quite different. She's polished, she's professional, and she gives out the facts, and she says, this is the way how it's laid out and everything. And she shows why she wants the job. And I think she'll do a wonderful job as president. I really do. I really like her. And she'll whip everything into shape. And I hope that a lot of people will vote blue up and down the ballot. Uh, and kick the mangas out and make them so tiny it's not even funny. Um, since I'm basically winging this and keep trying to keep up with all the news, everything is going on, and of course, you know, J Judge Marshawn has delayed the sentencing until after the election. He doesn't really want to put pressure, he, irregardless of Trump, he didn't want to put pressure on the employees or anything else. People are still trying to get things caught up and put put in place. The D.C. trial is still going on. That's still going to happen. Because uh, the Supreme Court handed back the thing to Judge Chunkin, and she says what Trump did, what he did break the law. Okay. He did election interference, and that is not part of his so-called um, job description, okay? Um, so really, the kid gloves need to come off on Trump and need to be, he needs to be held accountable, period. And I hope Trump gets a lengthy jail sentence. I really do, because... Of course, two days after the sentencing in November, it's Thanksgiving, so he had better hold an early Thanksgiving and be finding himself in a jail cell for the next, next several years. Um, sorry, I'm, my nose is really dripping badly today. Um, otherwise, all is well. Um, my daughter is visiting here uh, right now. She's with her dad, and he's at rehab, rehab, and will be there for another week or so. He just completed this week, so he's actually it's his first week. So it'll be next week. It'll be the other two. So it'll be there about two weeks. Uh, his knee is getting better, and he's moving better, and everything, which is good. What caused him all this to happen is that he had complications after knee surgery and so which does happen uh, not always but it does happen to some people um let's see anything else um oh on this one news news uh platform i forgot what their name was they kept saying oh well biden's uh final steps of his uh, 
Um, hi, Nancy. Being impeached is intimate. Well, no, they dropped it because there was nothing there. They dropped it. Even the Senate says, no, it's not going to happen. Um, and so the House is going to, you know, the MAGA in there are going to try, but it's not going to work because they're not going to get enough votes. Uh, so it's not going to happen. Um, and there is some House members or House and Senate members in there that keep trying to interfere with the law, which also is a no-no. Because they have no jurisdiction. The Congress has no jurisdiction over the G DOJ. Okay. Um, so, they're going to find themselves, those mangas will find themselves out of a job this, this fall. They will. And, including MTG, she's going to be given the boot. Um... People like that, that bully other people and bully people that are different or bully people that have special needs, need to have their heads examined. Uh, that's uncalled for on their part. It really is. Uh, especially Governor Walsh's son, okay? He's special needs. And they need to leave him alone. So what? He was being emotional. He was engaging. And he was happy for his dad. It really is. And I'm pretty sure he understood what was happening uh, during the convention. And so they, those that sit there and bad mouth his son and go, oh, easy target. Well, you better be careful what targets you pick. Because parents will come back with bared teeth and claws. Uh, that was uncalled for by some of the other magas that was sitting in there mocking t Mr. Walsh's son, and you don't do that. That's a no-no. And, um, no. Oh, by the way, Nancy, I don't know if you heard on the weather front, uh, I feel sorry for Texas. I feel sorry for Louisiana. A tropical depression now named Francine is forming and she'll be turning to a full hurricane by Wednesday, by day after tomorrow. And look like her right now, um, her, her trajectory is heading toward Louisiana. Um... Uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, that direction. And New Orleans is like, really? We don't need this. <laughs> uh, so, so they're preparing. Louisiana, Georgia is preparing for this. Um, Texas is also preparing for it, especially in the Gulf Coast, Coast area of Texas. They may get fringes from the, the hurricane, and it depends on how fierce it will be. They think it was going to be a Category 1, but uh, you don't want to underestimate Mother Nature. Uh, when she stirs up a storm, she stirs up a storm. Uh, so I hope everybody is taking precautions. Uh, do what you need to do to stay safe and keep your property safe and just hope there's little or no flooding. Sure, they're going to get a lot of rain, but let's hope make sure all your storm drains are uh, clear um, and just do your best. Um, and parts of Florida probably get uh, the tail end of the storm, too. But they said right now that the direction it's going is going toward Louisiana.
Yeah, uh, it may. It depends on where the storm is going to go. And the other thing about hurricanes, they have a nasty little tendency of forming tornadoes. Uh, so it's going to cause some wild weather over in the south. So people need to be prepared and be, you know, uh, you're going to get water waterlogged. Now, the other thing is the debate tomorrow. I'm planning to watch it. It depends on, um, I noticed that Midas Touch is having some technical issues on their end, on their thing. So my second best is PBS News because you don't have all the talking heads or anything. They don't do that. They just, um, they just videotape the, or not videotape, but they just, broadcast the debate. Um, now, ABC is broadcasting it, but they'll have a lot of talking heads on that one. But if Trump doesn't show up, well, they'll just have Vice President Harris answer all the questions and just call it good. She's going to be there. But you know how wimp he who shall not be named is. Yes, he's a wimp. Um, you know full well he is not going to study and he is not going to prepare for the debate. All he does is going to complain and whine and whine and complain. And um, that's not debating. That's not going for the job, and more and more people are going for Vice President Harris because uh, they want normalcy. They want things back in proper order, um, and, you know, start picking up the pieces, start getting things working again properly. Now, as you notice on the business side, uh, I don't know if you've heard much about it, is the Kruger-Albertson's merger, supposed merger. And Kruger said, um, Hi, Linda. Nice seeing you. How's your sister? Um, Kruger and Albertson's are supposed to merge. Well, Kruger said, well, if Albertson's back out, Kruger said it may have to lay off people and close stores. Well, my answer to Kruger is this. What are you afraid of? What's wrong with having a little bit of competition? You want competition. That's how it makes the economy healthy. Okay? Uh, you want businesses to compete with each other. That's how I get things going. That's how you get innovation going. And I think now big corporations, the big conglomerates, they need to stop being so damn greedy. Uh, well, she's in my prayers, Linda. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I miss chatting with her, though. Um, and, yeah, that's right. That's very good, Nancy. Yes, they do need comp competition to keep prices in check. And I don't think a merger is not going to help, help them at all. It's going to create more of a burden for Kruger, okay? Um... And there was supposed to be a merger between 7-Eleven and another company up in Canada. And the people up in Canada go, no, let's keep it separate. So the company up in Canada, which is similar to 7-Eleven, they're kind of like the counterpart. I bet you, I bet your, I bet your prayers list is pretty big. Yeah, I miss talking to her. Um, I was, you know, I told her before she went in for her uh, procedure that, hey, 
go with the flow and you'll be fine. No. Then. Um, things do happen at times. As I stated earlier, my ex is in rehab now and daughter's visiting. He's in rehab in a town nearby and um, not my city, but over in Puyallup. And uh, his leg is getting better. His knee is healing now, finally. And um, he just had a complication from surgery of it. And they found out that the medication that he was on caused the complication. So they're, they took him off that, put him on something else that was much better. Um, he had to have his knee replaced. And so, second time around. <laughs> And so they only last for only for so long. Um, other than that, he's doing good and he's walking around, which is good news. So anyway, um, other than that, as far as back to the competition between companies and everything go, they need to go, they need to stop the greed and start. Um, they need to start concentrating on the product and that everything else take care of itself is what they really need to do. Okay, this is how Microsoft took off. He worried about the product. He didn't worry about the money part of it as much. He wasn't really greedy. He wasn't, his his game plan was philanthropy, you know, help, helping others, uh, creating foundations to help others. And he wants kids to learn and everything else. I'm talking about Bill Gates. Um, of course, now he's retired, but he is Sherman Emeritus of Microsoft. Um, but they work on stuff, and they're, I understand that their uh, work atmosphere is much better. It's not as intense. Um, but you want people to work easily and work very well. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, my daughter is going to be home about another 45 minutes, and so I just want to spend time with her. Um, and, of course, I'm pushing on my YouTube channel. I'm pushing on that and trying to get that, you know, I'm trying to beef that up, trying to find a way of beefing it up. Um, you know, do what the other creators do. Uh, I am currently working on, again, it's a long, long process. You know, you do all kinds of research and then try to implement it. I'm still working on my store. My store is still here. I was debating it, shutting it down altogether, but I want to work on it. And so if you still want to go and do any ordering in there, I still have inventory on hand. So if you want to buy something like microcloth, dishcloths, or towels, or whatever, feel free to check it out. Um... It's gingerstoremore.com, and I go through Shopify. Uh, I was with Wix. I was going to switch back over to Wix, but I decided not to because they're, they're based out of Israel, and they're still having, you know, Hamas issues and war issues and everything, so I decided not to. I decided to stay with Shopify, which is up here in Ottawa, Canada. Uh, that's where Shopify is based out of. But they're going everywhere. They have, there are some, some store owners that do international sales, and there's some that do national sales or, you know, local sales like I do. I do local. I don't go international. I just don't want to, uh, even though if I made a lot of money, I just don't want to go through the uh, international tax code hassle. Which, you know, in many ways with shop, small 
online shop, they shouldn't be taxing them. Because we're not big enough. And they should concentrate on the brick and mortar, big conglomerate companies. They should tax them. They're the guys that have extra money that they can give to use the infrastructure. Many of these companies forget that in the taxes that they pay go into paying for the roads, rail, you know, rail, most companies now ship by rail. Rail, uh, then you have ship, you know, regular shipping, you know, like the big shipping containers and everything else that they're um, big ships. Um, bringing the, you know, the items in and everything. They're forgetting a lot of the taxes pay for that and pay the ports. And so they need to go back to the basics and say, okay, yeah, we need to pay extra in taxes so we can use infrastructure. Because if they don't pay the taxes, the roads don't get fixed, then their, tr their vehicles and shipping trucks get damaged, which is on their head. Okay, not the government or anything else that's on their head because they're not helping out and they should be helping out. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Be sure to insist, persist, and push back. And if you can, donate to um, Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walz's campaign. Um so we can help them on the advertising blitz because they're using the money from the advertising blitz to get Trump and it's driving Trump nuts which I, I think it's really funny uh, I laugh every time when I see that so anyway I will see you guys on Friday let me check my calendar real quick here one minute let me check my calendar um Yeah, I could do this on Friday, which is no problem. Loki goes in for his, um, goes in for his checkup. Loki, my cat. So, that's early in the morning. He's dropped off. They have to do a teeth cleaning and everything on him. So, he's dropped off and then comes home. Um, so they'll call me and when he's ready and he's out, completely out of anesthetic and he comes home. They have to put them to sleep when they do uh, x-rays and teeth cleaning and everything with them. Um, that way you're not torn apart. Because <laughs> cats do have long claws and sharp teeth. Uh, except I clipped his to toenails last night. So anyway, have a good week. I'll see you on Friday. Watch the debate and I will discuss the debate on Friday. Discuss, you know, the afterwards and what was said and everything. And um, also keep watching Minus Touch, too. Because they're always keeping things up to date, what's happening in the court system. So, uh, I will talk to you later. Love you all. Hug to you, Linda. And um, be sure to batten down the hatches regarding star uh her, soon to be Hurricane Francine. So, yeah. Okay, talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.